Hello there! What you witnessed right now is a sunrise. Believe me, not so many people in this planet witness this wonder phenomenon. In fact, less than 30% of the people in this planet witness a sunrise at any given time. At least we can all agree that we have seen more sunsets than sunrises. The sun right there, it plays a very important role in your life. It gives you light for light, warmth for warmth, energy for energy and the role that it plays is so important that if it was not for the sun right there, you wouldn't be here watching this video, nor would I have made this video in the first place. So if this elaborate praise of the sun wasn't obvious enough, this video is about me looking at the sun through a telescope. But before all that, let me tell you a short story about our sun. Okay, the story of our sun began 4.6 billion years ago. In the beginning, there was this cloud of dust called as the solar nebula, which was itself part of a bigger dust cloud. An explosion nearby caused the solar nebula to start spinning, and the angular momentum flattened the cloud into a disk. And in the center of that disk, the pressure and temperatures got so high that thermonuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium started to take place and thus our sun was born. One thing that you should never do with a telescope is directly view the sun using it. Rest assured I am using a proper filter so I should be safe. The sun for the most part appears like a bright disk with no surface details. But sometimes you get to see these dark spots on the sun. These are referred to as sunspots. They are formed when magnetic fluctuations on the surface of the sun cause regions of low temperature, which appear as black when viewed through a telescope. And here you have it, this is how the sun looks through my telescope. But sadly, the sun will not last forever though. In 5 billion years or so, it would run out of fuel and, and it would expand into a red giant, engulfing the inner planets in the process. And perhaps, the Earth would also be engulfed as well. After this, our sun would collapse on itself to become a white dwarf. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share this video with someone who would love to see the sun through a telescope. So until next time, this is me your striving amateur, goodbye.